make them understand <laughs> what not to do. <laughs> that is food and some water for you to drink. Eat up and Freshen up a little, because I'll be having you tonight. Well, how long will this continue? <laughs> All you do every day is to sleep with me. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> and give me food once a day. <laughs> For my body. <laughs> Is everywhere. <laughs> Why did you choose to treat me this way? What have I done to deserve all of this? For how long will this continue? <laughs> this will continue for as long as I am alive. What? Oh, yes. But none of this is my fault. I know none of this is your fault. But the thing is, your mother isn't here to face this punishment. So since you are here, I will ensure as the day goes by, you pay for all her sins and all her mistakes. Imagine me sacrificing everything for her. And all she does is will everything to you. <laughs> She means I am worthless. I don't deserve a penny after all my hard work. <laughs> she lies and hear you cry. You will suffer. <laughs> I will ensure you pay for all her sins. You've still nothing yet. <laughs> I will ensure you suffer until I'm satisfied. I will not stop. So please, eat and drink a lot of water because I'll be having you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, I will see you tomorrow when I bring your meal for the day. <laughs> you are really nice. You are becoming a good girl. Yes. Before I forget, your late mother's family have been insisting on seeing you. I've been trying to see how I can push it away, but they refuse to back down. So they'll be coming tomorrow for dinner. I would like you to, you know, be of your best behavior. Dress well, you know, wear something nice. Dress the part. And remember, always be happy. Let me warn you. If you show any signs that you are not happy or anything is wrong, <laughs> I will.
kill you <gasps> and you will die you will die like your late mother no even worse than your late mother so if you don't want that to happen dress nice smell nice you know touch your face you know look very okay and be happy if you fail to do so you know <laughs> please don't kill me please <laughs> do the right thing and you remain alive if you don't you know the rest <laughs> bye <laughs> about you aren't you eating <laughs> no um, my dad and yeah yeah actually you see um she has um issues with her appetite so mm -hmm. i felt why not probably you know start with an orange juice to boost the appetite and afterwards she could go ahead and start herself oh okay i see mm -hmm. wow um angela you've grown into such a big and beautiful young lady <laughs> thank you you are grown now. You look just exactly like your mom. <clears throat> so, how's school? School, school, school. Is yes, I'm actually school. School is actually fine. School is fine. School is fine. <laughs> I see you are taking good care of Angela. Of course. If I don't take care of Angela, who will? You see, um. Ever since she lost her mother, that's my wife, I just took it upon myself to make sure that she has the best life, goes to one of the best schools in the city, wears one of the most, and if not the most expensive dresses. See her hair. I make sure her hair is well kept. You see, she's my joy, my pride, the apple of my eyes. So I have decided to do anything humanly possible to make sure she has the best life. <laughs> so, Angela, tell us, how did you spend your Christmas? Actually, I and my dad <laughs> went to the Sky Resort. He, he provided he, he provided everything I wanted. It was, it was, it was, it was really a great experience. That, that, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, okay. hey, come on, sit. Sit, my angel. Come on, there's nothing. Sit, just relax. I'll just quickly clean this up, guys. <laughs> come on, sit. No, come on, come on. Come on, angel. <laughs> I'll join you guys soon, okay? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Angela. Are you okay? Um, it's okay, sweetheart. Come. Okay. Come on, Angel, it's nothing. Please sit, sit, Angel. Sit, sit, huh? It's fine. Sit, Angel. Sit. Let me have your hands. Don't hurt yourself next time, okay? <laughs> it's just, you know, kids. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Here we go. So. Okay, so it's fine, okay? Um, you see, I'm um, actually, um, she's not been feeling too fine, so I guess it's just one of those things. Oh. Um, Angela, have you used your meds today? Yeah. Yes. She has, she has. I always ensure that. <laughs> she will be fine. <laughs> Sorry, Angel. <laughs>
Babe, I don't know. I'm so bothered about what happened earlier. Angela seemed lost. Lost? Mm. Why would she seem lost? When she has a loving father that loves her so much. So, why would she be looking lost? No, she's lost. I'm a social worker and a psychologist. I know when something is wrong. So, tell me, what exactly do you think is wrong? I don't know. I don't think she's going to any school. Because I don't think she was talking in the present or about the present. It was Mr. Bernard trying to catch up for her. Trust me, something is really wrong somewhere. You know, I didn't notice all this. So, what do you think we should do about it? Well, I'm going to try and get some details about her to find out if she has really been going to school. Are you sure you can do this? This is my job. I have my way around things. So getting information isn't a problem for me. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Okay, if you say so. Yeah. Let's go. What was that nonsense you tried to pull up at the dinner? Shut up. <laughs> you think you are smart, right? So you wanted them to know that you are not really enjoying that I am wicked. But it's fine. I like the little drama presentation. You did well. So you wanted them to feel like I don't treat you well. They will feel I am wicked. I don't take care of you. Or you don't even go to school. No problem. There's a way to treat animals. I don't hear what. You just give them small, you know, a little bit of something to make them understand what not to do. Hi, Vanessa. Keep your greetings to yourself. You this devil. Come on, Vanessa. What have I done wrong? Where is Angela? Well, um, Angela isn't home at the moment. Oh, really? Yes. Mr. Rob, that's him. Arrest him. I demand to know the reason why I'm being arrested. What for? Oh, really? Yes. Well, after the last time we visited, I noticed something was not right. Angela seemed lost, and I had to carry out some investigations. And in my investigation, I found out that Angela has not been attending any school. She has been maltreated by you. Also, you have been hitting her, and on top of it, you have been raping her. Look, I, I actually don't know what you're talking about, but I, 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 I promise you... I, I... Mr. Bernard, you'll do yourself a huge favor by just coming clean because I have evidence you have been busted. Look, this, this whole thing is actually her mom's fault. Yes! After building a career with her for three years. She, 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 she died and left everything to her daughter. Meaning I am, I am, I am worthless. I don't deserve to enjoy everything I worked hard for. Come on. Come on. Who will take that? I, I, I 
feel sad for, for, for Angela, trust me. And I'm not proud of the things I, I do to her, but so, someone needs to pay for the sins of her mother. Look, Vanessa, I, I'm sorry, okay? Just forgive me. Put yourself in my shoes, please. I assure you, if you give me a second chance, I'll, I'll be a great father to that, to that, to that girl. I would never rape my own child. What, what, what father would rape his own daughter? She's my stepdaughter. Look, I, I'm sorry. Mr. Bernard, save all that for the courts. Arrest him. Sir, you are under arrest for rape, sexual harassment, and harassment of a minor. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to a lawyer. If you don't have one, the state will provide one for you. I'm, I'm sorry, Vanessa. Angela! Angela! Oh, and I will do everything in my power to ensure that she rots in jail. Angela! I, I deserve this. I'm sorry, Angela? Vanessa. Angela! I'm sorry, Vanessa. Just please move. Leave fourth room to your right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 